Spotlight on Frazee is sponsored by these community-minded businesses and organizations. Frazee Family Foods, what a hometown grocery store should be. Friendly staff, family-owned, and a wide variety of groceries to fulfill your needs. The City of Frazee and Frazee Event Center, featuring a 5,000 square foot room, a built-in stage, and a full-service bar, perfect for a multitude of events. Call or click to book your event. Welcome to Spotlight on Frazee. I'm your host, Hank Ludke, and I'm here today at Frazee Family Foods with Heath Peterson. Hi, Heath. Hey, Hank. How's it going today? Yeah, it's going pretty good. You know, we've getting a beautiful rain out there that we've needed desperately for a couple of months, and hopefully it continues good for you for the next couple of days. Yes, we could use a, a three, four day nice rain like this, that's for sure. And now we got Labor Day coming up here, and of course we know you've got to have some specials going on. Yes, we're so excited for this uh, Labor Day. It's the biggest big bash before everybody has to go, kids have to go back to school. So it's nice, get out, enjoy the weather, get out, get that uh, grill working, you know, cook some steaks, um, have some potato salad, coleslaw, enjoy the weekend. Yeah, it's, you know, and it's it's that time of the year, you know, it's summer's, summer's uh, fading away and we got to get in those barbecues whenever we can. Yes, exactly. Before long, it'll be if you want to cook in 10 below, you can, but it's not as fun then. No, no, it's, <laughs> I always worry about my parka catching on fire. <laughs> yeah, that could be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> and so, you know, as, as always, I know you've got a lot of stuff happening around here, you know, and, and uh, you know, uh, like you say, it's the last big hurrah before the school starts. Yes, it is. The kids are already back in sports, so you see a little bit of it that way, but everybody kind of takes take this week and enjoy it before the kids go back to school, and and uh, we're just excited for this as it goes, you know. Well, and I see, you know, you've got some new products. I, I, you've taken uh, on a back, basically a, a new line here over this uh, the summer. Yes, we have our old uh, uh, private label. Uh, company wasn't able to provide us with a lot of product that we get now so we've had to switch to a to a best yet product which has turned out really well for us and and, and worked out well they have a lot more options um, still having some problems getting stuff due to covid um, a lot of transportation issues and things like that but we just keep ordering and feeling the best we can well i i know i've tried some of the the new products you know and i i've been very happy with them you know the prices are good on them and uh, and the product's good and they are, and a lot of these products are really made, they're made by brand name people anyway, just at a, a little less price because they don't have their name on it. So um, we're excited for it. It's, it seems to be working well. The customers have had a very good reaction to it, so uh, that's a good deal. You know, and, and then, of course, you know, you've got your summer produce. You know, we've, it's been, we've been waiting so long to see fresh tomatoes. Is better, you know, <laughs> yeah, know, and all of a sudden they're here now. Yeah, tomatoes are here. Gardens are going crazy, and people are trying to can. We're getting a little bit of stuff here and there. Unfortunately, it's really hard to to uh, get. We get what we can type of situation with canning and that type of stuff. But um, so far, we got a little bit of stuff here that we're able to do. Um, this last time of the year, right now, we've been able to get in some. The Amish have been bringing in their uh, cantaloupe and their uh, seeded watermelons, which I had one the other day. They are so delicious. They definitely know what they're doing when it comes mm -hmm. to growing this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, and it's always good to see, you know, that they have another outlet here with you. Uh, you know, not only their their own neighborhood, you know, and and helping them out too. And the, and we see them in town all the time, you know, uh, uh, doing business here. So it's great to help them out too yeah and it's nice you know in addition to the produce that we're selling right now i mean we'll be doing uh, squash and stuff later but we also have the amish brown eggs that we have that we carry and then we also have an amish couple that brings in different types of candies so if you like that homemade taste of uh, fresh type of uh, candy they have a nice selection over there of that well I really appreciate you being on the program and being here, Heath. You know, I, I don't know what we would have done if you wouldn't have taken over the store. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's been a fun, uh, what has it been, about 14, 15 years now? It's, it's been, a, been a while since 2007, but, you know, it's, this has been such a wonderful town, and we're just so excited to, uh, to be here and be a part of this. Well, we always appreciate you being on the program, sir, and we appreciate your dedication to the community. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Hank. And with that, we'll be right back with another segment of Spotlight on Frazee. 
Welcome back to Spotlight on Frazee. I'm your host, Hank Ludke, and I'm up here at Frazee High School, and we're going to talk a little bit about community ed with Ta Fett. Hi, Ta. Hi. Nice to see you. And Autumn Moe. Hi, Autumn. Hi. <laughs> and so you have something coming up here and uh, that you ladies are working on. And I didn't realize Autumn was a teacher. I thought she was a student. So, <laughs> But what's happening, Ta? Well, um, through Community Ed, we are going to put on a Greatest Show Homecoming Halftime production. And we're looking at um, having some practices after school here um, down at the elementary. This is for kids in grades um, first grade through senior. Um, we're looking to get about 50 kids to do a halftime show and think circa, um, like, or think Super Bowl halftime. We want to make it big and um, bring school spirit to our town and have fun doing it. Well, that sounds like quite an undertaking, but I know you've got a lot of good people here, and, and we have one right next to us here, Autumn. <laughs> so talk a little bit about your experiences in dance. Um, well, I started dancing when I was in the fourth grade, and that's about the time that Ta started doing these little halftime performances. And I just recently graduated high school, and now I teach with the studio and will be helping out with um, this little halftime performance. And, and so you actually did this yourself when you were younger. I did, yeah. We just um, recently had pulled up a video of me when I was dancing in it, and it's, it's pretty entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> and so now when, when you look at having uh, 50 kids, you know, now uh, – and, and going from 1 through 12, that's quite a, 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 in my mind, quite a struggle dealing with all that age difference. Well, one of the things, um, well, first of all, I want to let you know that the instructors for this is, is going to be myself, um, Autumn, and my daughter, Kai, who couldn't be here today. So we have three instructors. We're going to break up the groups. So we'll have kids in grades 1 through 6 after school at the elementary, uh, but we'll split those two groups up. And then our high school kids, 7 through 12, we will have them a little bit later. It's going to be, there, there'll be Wednesday night practices. Um, so you want to look for that on the Community Ed website. Um, and one of the things, we do this down at the studio where we have these produ huge productions with all different ages of kids. And what I think we do is we really consider the different levels that kids are at and make sure that everybody has a part. And it's not just dance, it's definitely theatrical. You don't have to have any experience. You can come in. We're going to find a spot for you. Um, we are going to have props and um, some lip syncing, and it's all going to be based on the music from The Greatest Show. Is it Greatest Show or Greatest Showman? Yeah, I always want to say showman, but The Greatest Show, which is a popular musical that's been on television or been in a movie anyway and so now if they want to get a hold of you guys what's what's the major venue on that so if you are interested in being part of this performance it's for boys and girls um, again grades first grade through seniors um, you just need to go through community ed um, look online at the Frazee High School website um, Kitty Kiwi Lex will help walk you through that if you have any questions. It's $40. Um, there are one, two, three, four, five, about six practices, and um, you get a free T-shirt that you'll wear during the performance, and we will uh, meet on that Friday after the homecoming parade, run, do a little run-through on the field, and then that night we will put on the performance during halftime of homecoming. I just want to say that my one of the real reasons that I we – decided we got to do this again is because Autumn started talking about it. We worked together this summer. I'm doing dance camps around the state of Minnesota and she just talked about how much fun it was. And we also want to um, kind of be a program that can help our Frazy Fly Girls dance team to get kids exposed to that and help the new dance team coach, um, Izzy Mateka, who used to dance for me and used to dance at Northern Lights Dance Academy, um, help her um, get some students interested in dance and going out for the Frazy Fly Girls dance team. Well, that's great. Now, and, and so you're really looking forward to this. 
Yes, to be able to help out anyways. Yeah. I remember how fun it was just dancing on the field in front of a crowd at least. But yeah, I'm pretty excited to help put it on and see what can happen with it. <laughs> Well, this, I think it's great exposure for the kids. I really think it's going to be fun. And I'm looking forward to seeing this. Uh, and uh, it it's a, it's, really is a great venue, and it's a great thing to get kids out. I totally believe in dance and theatrical production. Uh, my daughter teaches it at the Academy in Rockford, Illinois. And so I think it's a great exposure for the kids and a great step towards the future. And I appreciate you ladies being on the program and doing this. And so, as we always say, remember, pet the dog, hug the kids, kiss the wife, and wave at the neighbor. The next person you wave at could be your next best friend. And we'll catch you next week on Spotlight on Frazee.